All right, if you're someone who loves to celebrate Halloween and October is just not enough time to do it, we have the answer for you. Marty is live once again. He tells us where he can get your fright fix. And Marty, we're already creeped out just by uh, the company <laughs> you're keeping today. Well, I want to tell you something, Meg. Back in October uh, 2019, before COVID, when Where's Marty actually began, and then we had to take a COVID break, we were here at Bennett's Curse. And I was absolutely blown away. Dollar for dollar, this is worth at Halloween, your time to come in and be entertained, amused, and frightened. And when I heard that, okay, tomorrow's Friday the 13th, what light bulb went off over your head, or is it an industry thing when you all, when you guys all get together and talk? When did this, when did this light bulb go off, and let's make it happen? Well, it is an industry, like the opening up for these all-season events and it's Friday 13th is kind of a no-brainer, depending on when it falls, is, is really something that is a growing uh, trend. But really within the past 10 years, this is something that people really jumped on. I mean, Halloween, we all know Halloween is, you know, good time, let the good times roll. But how many events, you're the operations, I mean, the animatronics in here, the sound, you got to keep this now going all year long. Absolutely. It's a lot of hard work. We do a lot of... Uh, set designs and changing some sets throughout the season. So guests that came through on St. Patrick's Day, they're going to see some things they haven't seen yet. You know, uh, uh, Denise and Meg and everybody, we were at Toby's Dinner Theater out in Columbia um, last week. This is not unlike uh, a theater. You're, you're coming through and you're witnessing performances. We're going to talk to Fred in a second. Gemma started, you started as an actress, now yeah. you do all the costume. Correct. How many different costumes are you in charge of now? Um, so we have over a hundred pieces that we put together to make different costumes for different characters. And, and plus the, 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 the foam and rubber heads and arms. So they're silicone masks. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They, I mean, it's just, I mean, we're talking legitimate theater here. Now, when I was here in October 2019, Fred, by the way, is a volunteer fire, fireman and an EMT. And somebody said, I don't know if it was uh, Tony or Alan, said, it's good if Fred's on staff because if somebody faints, he's here. Have you ever had to revive somebody? Not in here. <laughs> we have plenty of drop down now. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. You know what? I just realized he's wearing like a, a foam mask. He is, yeah. You want to you take, can you just, no, that's a whole body thing. Crazy stuff. Yeah, so we've had several people pass out or fall over, or lose bodily fluids. Um, <laughs> And we've had to help people out, panic attacks, that kind of stuff. So we, we have assisted very, very many customers that just can't make it through. Some of them can't even make it through the queue line. It, it is a huge and large operation. We're going to take you through some of it again uh, after the break. But tomorrow is Friday the 13th. And guys, Meg and Denise, and I mean, even K2 standing here, when you work at Channel 13 and you're surrounded by the number 13, look, all day long, it really doesn't have a whole lot of impact, but to others, it's a bit of a different story. Let me throw it back to you. Oh, well, yeah, especially if you're losing bodily <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I am panic dying. And That's fainting. my worst. That would be my worst nightmare. All right, so if you like being scared, clearly Marty is yes, showing you where to go do. tomorrow. We're All right, still to come.